What's up, my precious peach blueberry cobblers? This is Rob from The Gay Guy Plays, and I'm considering turning you guys into fruit desserts specifically for the holidays. Let me know how you guys feel about that down in the comments below. Regardless, today on The Daily Grind, we're back with another installment of Rob Reads You Shit That You Don't Want To Read Yourself. And as you can see, we have the Rising Tide update, which literally just launched. I mean, this is gonna be a flurry of videos today. If you haven't already caught it, I just um, am actually currently uploading a video on the dev stream which shows off Avara Prime access as well as some sentient gameplay so if you haven't checked that out there's a link up in the top corner as well as one down in the description box below regardless let's take a look at what they got because I don't even know all of the deets on this so first and foremost we have dry dock the dry dock has arrived it's time to prepare with a new quest rising tide by the end of this quest, you'll have assembled a railjack, but it's not ready for flight. The time will come, Tenno. The balance of power is tipping. An imminent threat grows stronger, surging across the origin system. Will you stand against it? Keep pace in the arms race by starting construction in your clan's dry dock. Build the dry dock, assemble your railjack, and prepare for the continuing battle, or for the coming battle. Um, what will begin as a hangar will evolve into your sanctuary, a space to hone and upgrade your ship with powerful technology to become the weapon you'll need. Build the dry dock by rallying your clan and contributing resources to its construction. After that, you'll have completed the second after that. If you have completed the second dream quest, start the rising tide quest to begin forging your railjack. Ooh, pretty. Building your railjack, rising tide quest. The Grenier threat is mounting and you must rise to meet it. Track down the pieces of a long destroyed railjack and breathe new life into it with the help of the newest Cephalon, Psy. God, listen, okay, so Psy, a lot of people are saying they feel like he's too mean, he's too strict, but I'm kind of crossing my fingers that he turns into like a dry source of comedy. You know what I mean? Like those people who like say a thing that's really, really serious, but you find it really funny. That's what I'm trying to hope for. The Lost Cephalon. Building your railjack begins with recruiting a cephalon to pilot it. Begin by researching the railjack cephalon in at the railjack research console in your dry dock. Once the research is complete, return to the railjack research console to purchase a railjack cephalon blueprint and begin the process of crafting him in your orbiter foundry and installing him in the dry dock. Wait, I thought cephalons were like beings that were already alive and shit and they had like sentience and now you tell me we're just gonna build one? I feel like that's a little bit out of pocket if you know what I'm saying. The Broken Vessel. Time has not been kind to these railjacks. You'll need to work with Cephalon Psy to find viable salvage from wreckage across the origin system. After Cephalon Psy is installed in the dry dock, locate the six necessary railjack components, retrieve them, then return back to the dry dock to restore them to glory. Once your railjack is rebuilt, you'll be able to board and explore your ship. Ignition and flight command requires additional components, which have yet to be located by Cephalon Psy. So we have new resources preview. This update previews new resources from future update Empyrean when Empyrean launches. A wide array of Railjack specific resources will launch in missions, but we are previewing four new resources early to aid in the construction of your Railjack. Eximus units will drop two of the new resources. Eximus units on Ceres, which will drop cubic diodes. Eximus units on Europa will drop carbides. Mining will require two will reward two of the new resources. Plains of Eidolon um, is Pustrials. Oh, that sounds gross, but it's an ore. Or Valis will have um, Copernix. And then, of course, we have Orbiter 2.0, which I glanced at, like, lightly right before I jumped in here. But your Orbiter just got an upgrade, Tenno. See the stars through the new viewing ports and marvel at the improved lighting and materials coming with the Dry Dock update. Your decorations will mostly survive the transition, with a small chance for error near certain walls. Simply move pieces around or start from scratch with the reset decorations option from update 26. You look at this. Now this one, a lot of people are like, they don't know whether they like it, they kind of like it, they don't like it. We're gonna take a look at it in game in a second. But we have the Equinox Antonym Collection. Kill with Contrast. I love it, I love this Antonym and this Kill with Contrast. I love the alliteration. Use, well, a Antonym isn't 
the part of the alliteration, but you, anyway. Using this signature collection for Equinox, this collection includes the Antonym Equinox skin, Astria Sword and Shield skin, and Circadian Cyan Donna. I love Circadian because it's like Circadian rhythm, like when you rise, when you wake up, and when you go to bed. I, ooh, I like all the namings! Okay. Equinox Antonym skin, few things are more destructive than a secret. Unleash your opposite with this skin for Equinox. God damn it. Uh, the Stratus Pistol skin. We have a pistol skin. Okay, a billowing new skin to provide a unique ethereal look to your pistol. I don't see it pictured. We'll take a look at it. The Astra Sword and Shield skin. Husband and Wife, Dawn and Dusk. A signature sword and shield skin for Equinox. It's really, really... I, the shield is weird, but I like the sword skin. The sword skin is really pretty. We have the Circadian Cyan Donna. Do we see it? No. We'll take a look at it. Rise and Fall, Ebb and Flow, Peace and War. A signature Cyan Donna for Equinox. I love it. This one's weird. I gotta see this one in game. This is the... <laughs> The Cumulus Collection. <laughs> a cosmetic collection as ethereal as a misted mountain and striking thunderclap. Contains one stratus. Oh! Not Cumulus. It's about clouds. There's a cloud that is called something very similar to a Cumulus, but we're calling it a Cumulus. <laughs> Cyan Donna and Cirrus Armor Set. The Cumulus Scientana. Rolling and swirling with the promise and threat of a thunderhead, the Cumulus Scientana is for those Tenno who dwell among the clouds. We have the Cirrus Armor Bundle, the preferred armor set of those who call both the mists of morning and the fog of war home. A perfect compliment to the Cumulus Scientana. Can I just say... Whoever wrote these little descriptions, y'all, you're you're getting it. You are like seriously on it. I appreciate you. General additions, we have added two new in-game challenges. We're gonna need a bigger boat. Enter the dry dock. Um, some assembly required, which is assemble a railjack. Uh, melee changes and fixes. Critical chance on ribbons. We recently increased the stats of the steel category of melee mods, true steel, sacrificial steel. You're now doing this for ribbons among other mods to bring them up. Doubled the amount of critical chance on melee ribbons and gave the critical chance two times for heavy melee. Amalgam replicas changed from 187 critical chance uh, to two times for heavy attack, or with two times for heavy attack. Uh, true punishment changed to 100% additional combo count chance, negative um, 50 combo duration. Alright, whatever. General melee changes and fixes. Increase the combo counter cap of the Venka Prime from 220 to 240. Defiled Snapdragon stance has received some spice. Added a slash proc to the third and fourth attacks of the neutral combo. Added a slash proc to the second and third attacks of the block forward combo. Increased the damage and combo point value of the last hit in the third attack of the block forward combo. And fixed the chance to not gain combo count Riven Curse not applying to all. This Riven Curse has been worded to percentage chance to gain combo count for further clarification. We have Kuva Lich changes and fixes. I mentioned this in the previous video, but it looks like they've got more details here for us. Um, rank 1, 2, 3, and 4 Liches now drop Kuva for all squad members when a Parazon is used on them. Whether that leads to defeat or ranking up, the Kuva is yours on ranks 1 through 4. You recall there was a brief window where Thralls could drop Kuva or a Requiem Relic. We removed the Kuva and we're now applying it to Liches. Kuva numbers are balanced against Siphon slash Kuva survival missions and taking into account the fact that multiple Liches spawn in missions. The aim is to not make this the best Kuva run, just an added value. Siphons and other missions are meant to be the optimal path. Rank 5 Liches do not have the Kuva drop as they could intentionally be kept alive um, for a vector to acquire Kuva. Drops are rank 1, 150, rank 2, 200, rank 3, 250, rank 4, 300. This is lower than some of the other discussed numbers because we are now letting it share across squad mates. Liches now run away but do not rank up if you down them three times but do not use your Parazon on them. This allows you to overpower your Lich and have it flee instead of having the only way to remove the mission be your failure to know a Requiem. 
Operators can no longer prefer mercy kills on Larvlings or Kuva Lich. Your Warframe is armed with the pairs on for a reason. More fixes towards Requiem mod UI lingering in the second screen perpetually after failing to pairs on stab kill Lich. Uh, fix an U Kuva Lich despawning after getting down while temporarily uh, friendly from Revenants and Thrall. Fixed an issue with the Requiem. Okay, I already got that. Uh, fixed issues with the Vanquish Convert uh, for Liches on Clients. Fixed Kuvalich weapons showing as fully mastered on player profile before hitting rank 40. Affected accounts should now see the corrected mastered status based on progress. Fixed Kuvalich weapons not being localized. Fixed Lich screen overlapping with Market UI, blah, 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 blah. Arcwing Flight and It's All Changes. Blink has become a universal ability for all Arcwings. You roll binding in Arcwing triggers its new Blink mechanic in that Blink mechanic propels over two times the distance of the original Blink, but can't be increased by mods. With a cooldown of three seconds to prevent spamming, but at no energy cost to you. Adding to the mix, we've changed how Afterburner is triggered to allow for simultaneous upward movement during its burn. Previously, the default Afterburner was to hold shift to sprint and spacebar to initiate Afterburner. Now holding shift to sprint will and W will trigger the Afterburner once you get some momentum going. This new method may feel weird at first, but we'll be watching for your feedback as we continue to polish for fluid flight experience. Um, Arcline has replaced Itzal's blink ability. Launch a tethered hook that either pulls enemies close or pulls the Warframe towards any stationary objects it hooks into. Then we've got a whole bunch of optimizations, and then on top of that we've got some Garuda changes and fixes. Added a projectile explosion range FX to Garuda's Dread Mirror Blood projectile for the local player, the one doing the casting, so you can see your output. Slight trim to the bloodlessing cast animation so you can actually do that a little bit faster. Bloodletting now gives 35 energy instead of 25% energy. Reduce Seeking Talon's charge time by around 15%. Ooh, lots of good stuff for Garuda. Increase Seeking Talon's status chance from 50 to 75 and fixed motion blur on Garuda's Dread Mirror. Um, there are some general changes and we'll fix, we'll jump into that and then we'll go ahead and take a look at what's going on in Graeme. Increased maximum dojo room capacity from 100 to 128 to accommodate for the new Crimson Branch and Dry Dock additions. Added a new Captura Orbiter scene so you can finally take a family photo with you and your 99 domestic drones. Now with the new skylights. We now allow the use of skins on Zaz. This is a two-year-old request that's finally seeing the light of day under the hood restructuring. If you come across any issues with Exodia or odd behaviors, please let us know. Skin compatibility is automatically determined by Strike. Restored Mirage's Eclipse, glancing its light buff when Mirage is on fire and when under the effects of the electricity status effect. And last but not least, we have capitalized Ember's name in her Inferno ability description because those are the kind of fixes we absolutely need. There is a whole bunch of other fixes that come along with this update. I will link the patch notes down in the description box below. Now let's jump in game real quick so that we can go ahead and take a look at um, these new skins. Just for First looks nothing too crazy we're not gonna do any customizing so let's take a look <laughs> wait, wait, hold on let's take a look at the new skylight there it is it's pretty at first I didn't notice much of a change because we were still here in this area and I was like oh there's really nothing but it seems like it's just this area up here let's take a look around the ship to see if there's anything else that is potentially going on this looks normal, that we're not going to get into, this also looks normal. Okay, so everything basically looks the same except for this center area over here so that now we can see the MFing stars. Now, let's go ahead and take a look. I'm going to need to fix the lighting in here because, yo, it's looking dreary and sad. But let's take a look at the cumulus stuff. I don't believe it's, is it armor? Is it, I know that they had shoulder pieces, but I don't know if they had, I think it's Cirrus, right? Is, isn't it Cirrus? A, B, C, Cirrus chest plate. Oh, it's just a little, <laughs> wait, what? It's a little, it's a little floppy thing on your chest right there. Uh, okay, sure. Let's put that in there. Uh, keep in mind my customizations are going to look a little bit weird because the hull to armor set is a tad bit strange. Here's some serious shoulder... Is... It's a balloon. <laughs> what? What is this? What is going on here? I thought it looked kind of cooler. 
But now I'm kind of confused. I... I mean... I thought it looked kind of cool in the pictures, but this doesn't... Okay. Listen, we're gonna go with it. We're just... Keep going. Keep going, right? <laughs> Everything's just very balloony. Um... I could have sworn this looked different, right? Am I crazy? Am I cr okay? Let's take a look at this the side, Nana. What is happening? Um, let's see. Ooh, there's the circadian sign, Nana. All right, let's take a look. Cumulus, cumulus, cumulus. This kind of looks dope. That looks kind of cool. I mean, I know it's floppy jelly, but I do also admit to the fact that this is, it's its supposed to be a cloud-based thing. So I like how they've turned our criticisms of, it looks too much like jelly into like, listen, why don't we just make it a cloud? The sign on, I have to say, is actually kind of dope. Um, they've just really enjoyed all of the flopper. Oh, I have one of those too. The origin pack, there's a new Origin pack thing. Oh, okay. Well, let's we'll, we won't look at that now clearly. Sorry. It popped up into a different window Um, so oh, there's the stratus pistol skin. Okay, so here is the Cumulus set so I guess this is I guess it looks like the picture is one thing the cumulus collection is 259 plats. So just in case you guys were curious, let's take a look at the pistol skin real quick I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't hate it. It's like it probably need some customization it's just de getting into their own they're like listen this is is it gonna be flop oh that's actually oh that's actually kind of dope oh i like okay so the cyan donna is a yes i think the cyan donna looks kind of cool the pistol looks kind of cool the armor set is fun we're gonna leave it at that that armor set looks fun now let's take a look at equinox real quick um, and see how this all pans out with her deluxe skin. Um, let's use, actually, let's just leave it here. So here is the Antonym helmet. Here is the Antonym armor set. What is that on her neck? Is that a color? Or is that a, do, have I not removed a, a scythe? Uh, uh, not a scythe, a pustule? Why is her neck red? Okay, let's metamorphosize. Looks cute. I like it. You got What is what is happening there? What is going on with this? Um, all right Like listen. Oh that looks sickening. Whoa, is this night form? Yo night form looks like a ninja. I am into it. I am into it I'm into I okay. You know what? I'm gonna say I like it Yo, you can be mad at me all you like, but I kind of like it. Night form looks dope. Uh, day form looks a little estrange, but I do like the skirt that's going on with it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. Let's go ahead and fuck with the sign Donna. Oh my god, how is the sign Donna gonna be fucked up too? Let's do Equinox, cause I don't want to think about it too much. Equinox, there you go, Circadian. So, oh, it's gorgeous. Wow. Okay. That's all right. That's a cyan Donna. That's sick. The texture is really good. I love how one side it's matte, one side it's metallic. I support I support this. I support this. I know some people were not super duper fond of this. Let's go ahead and try the sword and shield skin. Um Sigma and Octantis. Let's take a look at how this looks. Um, Astrellos, short sword and shield here. That, oh, it came out the other way. Wait a second. Okay, no, that's dope. At first I thought it was gonna come out the weird back way and I was not feeling that. I was not feeling that, but look at this sword skin. Okay, like that's cute, that's cute, but look at this sword skin. Damn, that is a clean ass motherfucking sword skin. I see, y'all. Y'all were hating on this a little too much. I support this. I support I support all of this. I'm into it. All right, so that's how I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode right now. I'm very, very impressed. 
DE is just knocking out these updates, listening to our feedback on Kuvaliches, and giving us some content to sink our teeth into. One of the things that we've been saying for a while is give us content as you get it done. They could have released the dry dock like far into the future, but instead, you know, we got that part done now. We'll release it to you in stages. Oh, you don't like this about Kuvaliches? We'll go ahead and swap it up. I know you say you didn't like that Equinox skin. We gonna go ahead and polish up the textures on it. Looks beautiful. And then the Cumulus Armor Collection, listen, they bought into their own jelliness and they're like, listen, the jelly was what we were criticized for. Let's have it work for us. I'm into it. Very good job. Regardless, I have to, um, I have to post this other video because it's uploaded now. I have to render this video. So let me know how you feel about everything that you've seen thus far. Toss it down in the comments below. I gotta fix my orbiter colors and I gotta go build a dry dock and a rail deck. So uh, that about does it for me for now. And as always, love somebody, hurt nobody, and touch your delicious fruit treats for the holidays. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.